the event you are about to witness is completely fictional. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, it's been a wonderful day climbing, but I finally reached the top of the mountain. Oh, I'm very, very dizzy up here. I think I'm going to take a rest for the night. Sleep it off, maybe. I don't know. I'll probably be better in the morning. Signing off. But that break would be the last one that young Vladimir ever took. Unbeknownst to him, Vladimir has high-altitude cerebral edema, also known as haze, a very fatal form of high-altitude sickness. Vladimir was born in Grozny, Russia, a relatively low point in the massive country. Because of this, he was not ready for such extreme heights. At 8,000 feet, Vladimir was starting to feel the lack of oxygen and lowered air pressure. Early in the climb, Vladimir started to cough. While this could be passed off as normal, coughing is one of the first signs of haze. Some other very common symptoms of haze are... Trouble sleeping. Lightheadedness. Fatigue. Shortness of breath. A rapid heart rate. Vomiting. And finally, a loss of appetite. I threw it on the ground! If you were suffering from one of these symptoms, then you might have haze. One of the only treatments is to climb down the mountain as rapidly and safely as you can. If available, extra oxygen is a necessity. An injection of dexamethasone can help stop the swelling of the brain for a while, but it is no long-term cure. Follow these tips and you'll be on your way to not dying on the top of a mountain. Hooray! Thank you for watching, and remember, stay safe.